Couple Buying today. We're with Leslie Ann Huff. She is one of the first Pinais to be part of the Groundlings Theater. It's a very, very big deal. We're here to celebrate her and talk to her about her process getting into this prestigious theater company. Leslie, I'm so excited for you because oh, from you. now till October, every Sunday, you're up on that stage, you're representing us, and whether people know it or not, you're Filipina, and that makes us proud. Oh, salamat. Yeah, <laughs> so let's talk about all the characters you've done so mm -hmm. far. Um, which ones are your sort of most memorable? Well, I have to say that my mom plays a huge part in <laughs> my sense of comedy and just everything. She's such, just such a character, so I've written plenty of scenes for her. One of my favorite uh, scenes that I wrote for her was, it, is her and me. My mom's a nurse, so she's interviewing somebody to um, be a nurse at her hospital, but the interview just turns into a walking as advertisement for her daughter. Oh, of course. Leslie her... and Ha. Yeah, that's Artista right. Artista Shaha. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and and so the whole thing, you know, I pull my headshots out and, and give it to the poor girl and I give her my DVDs and I make her watch a YouTube clip. And it's so funny because my husband was like, I really hope people think this is funny because this isn't too far from reality. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, write what you know and exactly. sometimes reality is the funniest comedy. Yes, and my mom is just the best. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that she's my number one fan, but... She's a character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so besides doing your mom, yes. what are the other sort of characters that you've done? Uh, one of my favorite, other favorite characters is a character named Tanya, and she's a little bit, you know, urban and also a little bit ambiguous. So, okay. um, you might I, see... I like, uh, that's so politically correct, <laughs> Leslie Ann. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Right? <laughs> urban. She's and urban and ambiguous. Yeah, so, so you don't know where she's from. You don't from. know where she's from. You don't know what her deal is. You don't know what ethnicity she is, uh -huh. and that's part of the joke for the scene that I wrote. She's at a holiday party with a very polite coworker who really wants to actually ask her, where are you from, what's your ethnicity, and um, Tanya, somebody who takes offense to it, uh -huh. But she's just playing with you. She's just messing around. Okay. Yeah. How do you come <laughs> up with, you know, all these characters? Because I know as an actor, not everybody can just, you know, sort of have all these different characters. Mm -hmm. And it seems like you've got all these different characters that are so uh, differentiated from each mm -hmm. other, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, well, it takes hard work, dedication. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, you just kind of try and pump things out and you base it off people you know, like my mom. Um, uh, you start with somebody you know maybe and you just take one little weird thing that they do or say and then you kind of try and figure out what would be a funny place to put them. Some other people, and I've done it too, some people work with wigs. They'll just put on a wig and try and see who that person is or a costume piece. There's also a lot of collaboration, so you're writing with other people and bouncing ideas off of each other and seeing like, well, I want to play this kind of character. What do you want to play? And let's see if we can yeah. get them together. Okay, so how has your life changed because of this opportunity? Oh, we're getting personal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it is, uh, it, I'm busy. I'm writing all the time. My brain is sort of always churning and thinking of ideas or characters or, or whatever. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you get to a place you wanted to be, a goal has been achieved, and now it's time to, you know, step up to the plate. So I'm busy, but this is where I want to be, and it's a wonderful opportunity. And, and yeah. I know that, you know, out of all my actresses that I'm friends with, Leslie Ann is, you're constantly auditioning. You're oh, constantly you. out yeah. there. I mean, that means something, you sure. know? You're really living your dream here, oh. here in Hollywood. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, well, I have a wonderful support network. You know, my parents are so supportive. My husband is supportive. All my friends are always so excited for me, and you're so supportive, and that's one of the biggest parts of, that makes it all worth it, you know, when it's hard or it's challenging. I just remember everybody's rooting for me, and and, and that keeps me trucking. Okay, well, the community is definitely rooting oh, for you, salamat. so <laughs> we want to be there to see you in action. Sige. Can you give us details? Where can we go to find out more information? Yeah, so you can just go to groundlings.com. That's the theater's website. All of the ticket and um, scheduling information is there. Mm -hmm. But um, my show is every Sunday from now until October at 7.30 p.m. And the theater is on Melrose in Hollywood. And it's a fun time. It's um, a really great children, time. Children, maybe a little too young. Maybe. 
not be recommended to watch. Think late night TV. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are looking forward to, you know, as soon as the run is done, we're going to be knocking on your door and saying, Yes, PPP. Yes, na mag PPP na tayo. <laughs> yeah, let's do uh, it. But, you know, just the process that we had when we were doing PPP, mm -hmm. you were always so game and positive about, oh, you know, trying you. to put this together. And as you yeah. know, it's not easy, Nde. especially mm -hmm. it, it's a production, oh. you know, and it takes dedication. Mm -hmm. and a lot of hard work so mm -hmm. you're really putting it in there and we know that you've got such a bright future ahead of you I Nas hope naman. so oh, naman. thank you I'm so proud of you <laughs> thank you so much I'm becoming that ano, that Filipina tita oh my oh, god you're gonna become she's my, my friend <laughs> Leslie and Hap is my friend. It'll be you and my mom. Oh yeah, in the front row, of course. Well, I can't wait to see you. <laughs> thank up you on so much that for stage. having me. And thank you for sending us videos. Of we'll course. show you um, some snippets, some Sige. snippets of Leslie and Hap on stage at the Groundlings. Remember, every Sunday, panuuri natin siya, suportahan natin ang sariling atin, Leslie and Hap. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Maraming salamat. Okay, and if you want to take a look at uh, Leslie and Huff's work, you can go to her website, lesliannhuff.com. Have you seen CSI New York? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have seen some episodes. Have you seen the episode where the girl kills her limo driver to get backstage in the Kid Rock concert? <laughs> that girl is my doubter. <laughs> an actress. <laughs> you probably remember her there. She's Berber good. The best. <laughs> well, congratulations. She must be very talented. Just like mommy. <laughs> what you'll be feasting on today, poor souls, are the images of a true life's passion. Not yet! <laughs> Portraits of the pieces that will make you question everything you thought you knew. Take your last breath, idiots. Because <laughs> we think you'll just die over this collection. 